Do you have a reverse cervical curve? Is your neck basically screwed up? Get neck pain, all that type of stuff? Well, I'm a chiropractor. I've been a chiropractor for over 28 years. I'm gonna give you some realistic advice based on my experience, based on the scientific literature. So if you're trying to reduce muscle spasm, there are numerous products out there that can do it that basically push you forward, let your head hang, and it, for many people, it can be relieving for their neck pain. So what we're really trying to do here is to change muscle function, relieve muscle tension, and stretch ligaments so that your neck is in better alignment, at least on the x-ray. Many people want to try to stretch their neck, making it longer. They want to separate the vertebrae so that the intervertebral discs have more space. This can often help with blood flow issues and nerve issues. Now it's important to understand that you don't want to just traction the neck. You don't want to be pulling the neck up but you wanna be pulling the neck up and back, and that's how you restore the cervical curve. This can especially help if you have inflammation of the joints and edema inside the spinal joints themselves. Now this is for people that sit at computers all day, sit at their phones all day, and just stare at their stupid phones. It's not a stupid phone if you're watching, you know, my YouTube channel. But if you feel muscle soreness, stiffness, achiness in the muscles, this may be of assistance to you. Now it goes without saying that you should be asking your doctor if this product is right for you. But if you have radiculopathy, neurological conditions, or your body's just falling apart, you know, maybe you should see a doctor before you buy some stupid product on YouTube. But I'm sure you've already seen your doctor. Your doctor's told you that you need surgery and uh, nothing else will cure you. This is common. Way too common, way too common. So let me go get something, I'm gonna show you this. Hold on one second. Don't go away. Don't be one of those people. This is it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do an unboxing. Box. Okay, we're back from the unboxing. Now you see things like this a lot. Some are more comfortable than others. What's unique about this is this has this red area and this gives red light therapy. It also comes with these little magnets here. So if you want to increase, you just have to snap it in there. You know, chiropractors love things that snap. Just like that. There we go. And that'll raise it up. Well, that didn't work. Let me show you how to use these things. All right, so before you get started with this thing, you want to learn how it works. There's a middle button right here. That's the switch that turns it on. You see how that works? Now the left side, that's the temperature. And you'll see that it says 38. That's not Fahrenheit, that's Celsius. Because as you know, every American uh, knows the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. But just, tr you gotta trust me if you're American that, uh, you know, that's normal, 38. But you can change the temperature to 41, 45. And from my knowledge, uh, 45 is pretty darn hot. So this thing is gonna get warm. I would suggest that you start at 38. Then over here on this side, this has a timer. It's set for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. I would suggest starting with 10 minutes. Before you start going bonkers with this thing, you wanna make sure that it's right for you. This part right here is the part that's gonna go on your back of your neck and your shoulders. Let me show you. I'm gonna place this as close up to my shoulders as possible and then let my head just hang over this. My hands, I'm just gonna rest on my chest or my belly in order to just relax. And I'm just gonna relax in this position for about 10 minutes. Now, of course, after you get used to a product like this, you can start to increase the time and increase the temperature based upon your individual tolerance. Now, it is unreasonable to think that you can change your cervical curve in just a short period of time. In some cases, it can happen, but it's rare. So I would recommend if you're trying to do something like a therapy that's changing your cervical curve, I would recommend in doing it one to two times per day for about 10 minutes. As you progress, you can do it for longer. Expect the cervical curve to change within four to eight weeks. Now, if you're smart, and I know you're smart, you're thinking to yourself, but a lot of the research shows that there's no correlation between the cervical curve and pain. In other words, we take 100 people out on the street that are just willing to 
allow themselves to be donated to science and have x-rays of the area of their thyroid for, for no apparent reason or maybe we'll pay them 20 bucks. And they take these x-rays and they find that people that have pain may or may not have a loss of cervical curve and people that don't have pain seem to have the same findings. And just good old fashioned science. In other words, anytime you do a study, at the end of a study, they always say, we need more research, which I've gathered to understand that send us more grant money. These researchers sometimes are just ridiculous. But nonetheless, for some people, restoring the cervical curve and changing their alignment does have an effect on their pain. So if you're looking for a product, I'll put the link down below. You get a discount, yada, yada, yada. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share this with other people. What, what else am I supposed to say with YouTube? There's a bell or of some sort that you're supposed to hit. Uh, something like that. Do, do people not know to do this anymore? If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, <laughs> make a comment anyway.